It was murder on the arena floor as Denmark beat the UK. Wheelchair rugby is nicknamed Murder Ball. But it was all love and kisses afterwards. Harry, as always, is cheerleader number one. He's hinted the games have a shelf life. His friend and Invictus legend Jaco van Gas told me he sees Harry's point. It is difficult. Obviously, the so-called conveyor belt of the wounded and the injured and sick has stopped uh, not being in conflict anymore or within a war zone uh, like Afghanistan or Iraq. Um, so yeah, we will start seeing a lot of repetitiveness of, of the, the, the guys and the stories and stuff like that. So I do think there's a very, very short lifespan on it. He's put it beautifully where we can put it in a box and always get it out again. This is the third games and it just gets bigger and better. 17 countries are involved and next year it moves to Australia. Most athletes do not want it to end. What a magical thing that Prince Harry's put on in these games. You know, he's helped so many people with, with not just physical but mental injuries. Personally, I hope it goes on for a long time. I think there is a danger of having the same people coming over and over again that will, will it become just a kind of a regular same old faces. Having it as something that you can pull out if there is a conflict, I think that's great and we don't want to wear it out now so that we can't have people benefit from it, from it later in life. And this year it's clearer than ever that mental well-being is a fundamental part of Invictus. I think the messaging of wrapping it up is a little bit, we're done now. We've finished, that's good. And you know what, the, the limbs don't grow back, uh, people don't get back to where they were. And I think it's unlikely we're not going to have conflict in the future. And frankly, the broader piece of mental health awareness is good for everyone. And this becomes a focal point to spread that message much wider. The closing ceremony is tomorrow night. And after the fun and after the hangovers, there'll be much to debate about the future of this very special event. Simon Viger, 5 News.